Do you ever wonder how websites like Spotify, Notion, or even Figma redirect you from the web version to the native version installed on your device? For example, here I have the web version of Notion, and here I have the native version installed on my Mac OS. Now, if I come here and I click on Open in Mac app, it's going to ask me, do you want to open? And when I click on Open, it's going to redirect me to the Notion app with the page that I was on. Well, there are different ways that app developers are able to do this, but one very common way is custom URL schemes. And the way custom URL schemes work is, for example, if I go to the URL that I'm currently on, you can see I have HTTPS www.notion.so. If I replace this part here with notion colon slash slash which is the custom url scheme you can see it's going to trigger this dialogue to open on the notion app and we have this i can do the same thing for spotify i have this music here if i replace this part here with the spotify custom url scheme it's going to ask you want to open spotify and then it opens spotify here and same thing for figma if i go to figma here and i replace this with figma colon slash slash it's going to ask you wants to open figma and and then it opens the Figma app. But where exactly can you find these custom URL schemes? Well, when these applications are bundled on your device, these custom URL schemes are registered and then your operating system can use the application to handle those schemes. For example, if I go to the applications on my Mac OS and let's go to Spotify, right click show package contents. Here we have the contents directory and then here we have this info.p list and then this is where you can find some configurations for the app. Now when you open this on my code editor, you can find a few things i don't understand everything here because i don't build desktop apps if you come to this section here where you have cf bundle url types if you come to this part here where you have cf bundle url schemes then here you now have the spotify url scheme so this is registered for the spotify application let's do the same thing for notion if i come to notion here and i show package contents we have contents we have info.p list if i open this here again and we go to that url scheme section you can see here we have cf bundle url schemes and then here we have notion so this is registered for the notion app and that is how when you use the notion colon slash slash then it's going to use the notion app to handle that url i even have this python script here which i use to gather all the url schemes i have registered on my mac os i'll probably share this code in the video description if you want to try it out yourself and now if i run this python script python url schemes.py it's going to scan through all my applications and gather the url schemes from those info.p list files so this is going to take some time yeah and now i have all of these so if i paste that here you can see i have a bunch of custom url schemes i have one for vs code so now if i come here and i should go to vs code colon slash slash and then i want to open a file github d it's it attempts to open VS code for that directory. When I click on yes, you can see it opens my D project, which is for my personal website on VS code. And then there are other URL schemes here. Here is the Figma one. Here is the Notion one. If you keep going, here is a Spotify one. There are a bunch of them. So you can run the script below to see the custom URL schemes that you have on your device. But this is one way that these websites are able to redirect you to that native version. Now, what if you have a custom URL scheme that hasn't been registered on your device yet let's say for example this figma one i want to open the custom url scheme of does not exist something like this now i do does not exist colon slash slash and i press enter nothing happens and that makes sense my operating system doesn't know what application is responsible for handling that url scheme now, i think there are a few other ways you can do this with ios or even android there's even something i learned recently about intent in android which is a way to tell your android operating system to search for a particular application that can handle a particular URL. I don't really know what the details of that is, but I discovered that custom URL schemes is something that is pretty popular in the app development space. And if you have been curious like myself, well, now you have an explanation for how that works. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this.